see what we got for penetration here. First one into the second, and I think that's it. Stopped in the second. Next pellet is going to be the RWS Superdome. There's the first one, blew the back out of it, went through the second one, cleanly through, and the third it bounced off the bottom, so there's the pellet actually itself right there. Uh, about too deformed. Okay, so that's that. I'll put these at the back in oh. case it get more penetration with the other ones. So we're starting off fresh again. Next pellet's the Stoger X Speed and it's an alloy pellet. So this one will probably break the sound barrier. Are you pretty loud? I'll hit low, blew the bottom off the first one. Second one, third one, fourth one. Now we're into those now. Still went through that one. We're still going. So I think we have full. Oh, there it is. So it made it through six potato or seven potatoes. So there's the X speed pellet. So now we're gonna have to. It's gonna be tough running out of potatoes here. So the next one, it's going to be one of those ballistic tip pellets. Oh, that one looked pretty good. Definitely made some damage. I'm going to do a wad cutter next. around so unless I totally missed which it looks like I might have went through the first one let's see went through the second I don't know hop look at the camera it's replays to see I'll do another one with those ballistic tip ones just to see what happens again Ridiculous too. Blew it apart. Like took chunks right out of it. I don't know if it just bounced straight through or off or what. But there's holes in all of them. So. This looks like the destroyer pellet. This was the first shot that we made into the second potato, and this is the second potato. I don't know if you can see that little zoom in that good, but that's completely mushroomed out. Looks like a pretty awesome hunting around dropout energy within one and a half potatoes. So look at the diameter on that thing. Look at the growth. It's insane. It's almost like a, probably a 25 caliber anyways. I'll have to measure that and show you guys. So, so it turns out I dug out my micro bushcraft knife. Found another pellet. And this one was about four or five back. And this one turns out to be, it looks like one of those ballistic tip like there's a huge hole in the front. Expansion is massive. I'll have to get a measure on that. There, hold on. Pull it out of there. Yeah, so we're at 25 caliber on that one. So, massive expansion. 
Didn't find the little red ballistic tip, but that's pretty good for that pellet. This one's even crazier. It was about, I guess, four in, and it appears to be another one of those ballistic tip ones. It's huge and hollow, so like the tip's gone. But this thing is massive, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 27 caliber or something, that one. Let's see if we can get a measure on it here. Well, looks about 26 so far, from what I've seen. Yeah, so it measures about 26. That's pretty good. Those ballistic tip deals are pretty sweet. And I've done other tests to uh, show the velocities. You can check back my other videos for that. Looking at one of the first potatoes with those fire like, red tip deals or whatever, gamos. I found, there's a ballistic tip right there. A little tip. So there's that cone shaped tip. Get it out. Yeah, there you go. The fire tip or fire whatever it's called. Yeah, so. Definitely dumped huge energy when that expanded anyways. And expanded at 260, so from 17 to 260. That's massive expansion for a pellet gun. Especially a 177 caliber. And this one looks like it's a straight through pass, so there's no point cutting it. There you go. Yeah, straight through pass in that one. 